Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Before starting this session, I want to share this information with you. Recently, I have prepared Mastering Structure Equation Modeling with Amos course. The course is designed from basic to advanced level topic in a simple and easy way to understand and do your data analysis. You can purchase this course online from the link given in the description. Kindly share this information with other researchers also. In the context of Structural Equation Modeling, SEM, there are two main types of models, Reflective Model and Formative Model. These models represent different ways of measuring and understanding relationships between variables. First, we will discuss Reflective Model. Think of the Reflective Model like a mirror. It assumes that the variables in the model reflect or measure a common underlying concept or construct. In other words, the observed variables are influenced by the unobserved construct, and they all share some common meaning. The construct causes the observed variables to move together in a similar direction. For example, let's consider the construct happiness. We want to measure happiness using three observable variables, smiling, laughter, and positive mood. In this case, we assume that all these observable variables reflect the underlying construct of happiness. If a person is happy, they are more likely to smile, laugh, and have a positive mood. So the three observed variables are influenced by the unobservable construct of happiness. Now we will discuss formative model. The formative model is like building something with bricks. It assumes that the observed variables form or create the overall construct rather than being caused by it. In this model, the observed variables contribute independently to the unobserved construct, and there might not be a common cause for the observed variables. For example, let's consider the construct intelligence. We want to measure intelligence using three observable variables, problem-solving skills, analytical abilities, and memory retention. In this case, we assume that these observed variables together form the construct of intelligence. Each of these variables contributes uniquely to the overall intelligence of a person. So, the construct intelligence is not causing the observed variables, but rather being created by them. It's essential to correctly specify whether your model is reflective or formative, as this influences the interpretation of the relationships among variables in your SEM analysis. Thank you.